Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to talk about Aptasia, glass anemones, Mahanos, all those pests, trying to get rid of them, what I've tried, and what works so far. Um, I did use Aptasia X, I did use the laser, I did use steam, uh, Kalkweiser, and my experience with all of them is that it just kind of annoyed them for a little bit and then they came back and they spread and they came back with a vengeance. So this is a big tank. I don't pay attention every day like I should. I should be in here watching them. When the pump went down, I mean, it was a couple days before I noticed that and it, it just, it caused, causes havoc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the putty. I don't know if you guys remember the video I did on the Toons putty, the two part, that instant coral gum and I'm gonna cover up these holes where the Aptasia is and see if that will get rid of them. I know these are sneaky little bastards and they will always find a way to come back, but sometimes you get lucky if they pull themselves in a hole, you can patch it up and they can't get access um, to feeding, to light, to water, and they'll just die. So they did kind of take over this whole rock and like I said, when this pump went down, everything just started growing that I didn't want to grow and the stuff that I wanted to grow started dying. So flow is extremely, extremely important. So all right, so my next question for you guys is this balanced mushroom here. Now I just touched it so it's closed up small, but should I cut, that's my gold bounce, should I cut that thing? Um, right now, it's the only one I have. If I cut it, I'll have two, and then I can you know, cut those two and have four. So it's pretty big, I mean it's, it's big enough to cut. So if you guys think I should cut that bounce, let me know. Um, as always, thanks for watching, happy reefing. I'll let you guys know after I putty this thing down how it works out for us. And if you have any good experiences with getting rid of Aptasia, maybe the peppermint shrimp worked for you, maybe the Burgai Nuda Branch. That's the one thing I didn't try. I, I should have tried the Nuda Branch, the Burgai's. Uh, I hear they do an amazing job because they only feed off Aptasia. So if you get one of those, and there is a guy online who brings them specifically, um, just for selling, you know, for people with this problem. So, and you also have, there's certain fish, you can get a file fish, and sometimes, like I said, they'll eat an adaptation and you'll, and you'll be lucky. But, as always guys, thanks for sharing, and stay tuned for the follow-up, and then I'll show you guys all the video that I did of me exploding them with the laser, with the Aptasia X. I just, like I said, didn't have time to to get in all this footage. So there you guys go. That's it. Have a good weekend. Happy Friday. And see you guys in the next one. If you liked the 
video, give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coral Lust community.